Hey, Bebo. Your girl said they love once you got tuned in. They can see one step tired of something. Okay, welcome to my channel, y'all. And here we go with this. When you call on the ancestors, always remember that you're dealing with a very high intelligence. They see better than you. They uh, know better options for your life and your current challenges. If you truly want guidance, let them guide you. Stop insisting that things should go your way. There is a higher wisdom, a higher power. Remember that, you guys. That That's my plug-in right there, okay? Until I can remember it, I'm going to plug it in always. Thank you, spirit guys. Thank you, ancestors. What is it that you want me to deliver today? What What is the messages you want me to deliver today? Just, 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 just go for it, okay? All right, so... If you're dealing with an Aquarius or any of you Aquariuses out there, there's a message here for you. Um, you're getting ready to prosper. If you haven't already, the prosperity card come out. Um, you know, we got, you know, we're in the age of Aquarius right now. So a lot of Aquariuses out there, you are going to be prospering. There is going to be a, a new birth for you. There is going to be the skies are cracking open. I'm hearing spirits say with this prosper card that, you know, the worst is behind you, Aquarius. It's like, I hear spirits saying you carried your cross, okay? You carried your cross and a whole bunch of other people's too. But they're saying now it's time to let go and let God, let this prosperity come into your life because, you know, a lot of you really do deserve it. You deserve it. You know you deserve it. A lot of you are going to become some kind of star, like a like in. Um, but this is going to be like your own your own business. Like uh, some of you are going to be actors. I'm hearing like having your own acting business, your acting companies. This is you know this is the Aquarius age, which is talks about pros. It does talk about prosperity. It does talk about changes. It does talk about, you know, with Saturn in Aquarius, which is coming, Saturn in Aquarius is coming. So get ready, get ready for the ride is all I can say. Aquarius is, um, Thanks for listening to Spotify. Forget about the haters because I hear like there's going to be people all in your business wanting to know where, where what you up to. A lot of people I'm hearing Aquarius is, this is male or female, sun, moon, rising, and Venus that has been, uh, as you've been going on a journey, whatever you've been doing, that people have been putting, like not paying you any attention. They're looking at you as being silly or something like that or don't know what you're talking about, you know, as you're talking about these energies that come in because um, you're... Aquarius is are more or less ahead of their time. They they see things uh, way ahead, even before they were born uh, here. So people are playing the catch up game with you, Aquarius. They thought you was aloof. They thought you they thought you were acting crazy. They thought that you were out of your mind. They thought you were saying things that don't make sense. But it's all making sense now to everyone because they're coming in the age of Aquarius where it's the Great Awakening. I hear that them saying that like. I shouldn't have never doubted what she said. I should have never called them crazy. I should have, this is what I'm hearing with people. I also hear some people are just not going to even let you know. Some people seeing you coming out of the woodwork like you've been in the background and you're coming to the forefront. Whether you want to or not, Aquarius, this is the setup for you that uh, your ancestors has and, you know, the most high. You're coming to the forefront with this prosperity and people are going to be like, shaking their heads like how did how did they do that you know where how did they do that what we'll make them think they so do, where, where how they get to be on top like this this is how they viewing it you're viewing it like it's just like whatever you know i don't feel like you're just like all like surprised i think you already knew that your prosperity was coming aquarius Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sign, Aquarius. You're going to get the uh, a letter. You're going to get some kind of communication from someone. I feel like it's of importance. Some type of communication. I'm feeling some of you are going to get letters and some of you are going to get phone calls. Some of you are going to just have somebody actually come to your home. This is importance. I feel like it's got something to do with this prosperity here that you're going to be getting, Aquarius. 
it's, it's coming okay the word is coming whatever this message is is coming let me just try to clarify this what's the message Let's see what the message is give me a second Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Spirit, what is the messages? What do you have for me to say? What's this message that Aquarius is going to get? What is the message that's coming in? Ancestors, dear guys, please tell me what this message is that uh, Aquarius is going to get here. What's this message? Can you please let us know? Thank you. Hmm. Yeah, it is about the prosperity. It is about you, you know, sitting pretty. It is about, you know, your um your ships has already come in, Aquarius. That's what this message is gonna be about, you know, the prosperity that I just talked about. If that's what it's gonna be, you're gonna be independent here, um, doing your own thing. You're you're You've been waiting, okay? You've been waiting for a while for, for this to come in, okay? You've been waiting. You've been patient. And your patience has paid off. Regardless if this is a job, love, whatever it may be, your patience has paid off. Everything happens in divine timing. Your prosperity, the letter, you know, it's all in divine timing here. You've waited. You've, you've been doing your job. You've been collecting. You've been saving. And now, here it goes. Now it's time for you to fly. Okay? <laughs> here you got the Ace of Cups as well. So this is an over... Mm, 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 Aquarius, look. This is, a, this is all about abundance here. This is all about prosperity. This is all about your coins. This, and, this, and this Ace of Cups just put the cherry on top saying that. This is an overabundance. This is like more than what you even expected. This is more than what you put out into the universe. This is more than what you gave other people. This is more what you put your energy into. This is the most high saying, look, we want to bless your life abundantly. We want you to be happy. We want you to, a lot of your Aquarius has, has discovered yourself too and had a lot of self-love going on here. Like you love yourself. You're not chained and bound to anybody. You're not insecure anymore. It's like you just busting out Aquarius in your own age. You are busting out here. You are making the damn thing happen. And here, like I said, here's your cherry on, on, the, on the cake here with this prosperity, this new love. Some of you are getting new love as well. It's going to be a new person that comes into your life and it's going to be fully abundant. It's going to make you so happy, Aquarius. So don't worry. You guys got it going on here. Okay? Really, really. Don't worry about the haters. Let the haters hate. I'm hearing spirits say, let the haters hate. Let go of those who no longer serve you because people are going to try to, you know, Get into your business, Aquarius. I'm, I'm hearing that. They're going to try to get in your business, try to get up all on your, what's going on with Aquarius, how they get prosperous like that, how they get, how are they happy? We used to, Aquariuses, whatever y'all done, good job. Good job coming into this age of Aquarius. Y'all are going to be the stars. Y'all going to be the, the stuff, okay? You are. What we got next? We got uh, Virgo next. Let's see what's going on with Virgo in the age of Aquarius. What's going to be happening? What's going to be happening with Aquari uh, Virgos? Okay. Let's put that right here. Okay, spirit, ancestors, give me the messages for Virgo. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers, y'all welcome to be nosy if you want to. Okay? <laughs> Love you guys. Love this energy that's coming in because we have had some terrible energy. But, you know, it's not over. We, yeah, we still got some, some stuff to go. But I'm just trying to, you know, go forward ahead here a little bit. I want to go past the... Um, that Saturn energy for a, just for a moment, y'all. Okay, because that's the energy I'm feeling. Like I'm, 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 I'm like kind of getting ahead of myself here because I like to be ahead. Okay, okay, Virgo. Wow, Virgo. What's up with y'all? Y'all coming into some kind of great fortune here? Yeah, y'all. 
in the Aquarian Saturn energy and also the age of Aquarius. So you guys are some y'all getting something here, uh, Virgo. And I'm gonna hear I'm hearing spirit say y'all deserve it too. Y'all be working hard. Y'all are the I'm saying stop saying y'all. Sorry, you guys, girls or guys, have been putting a lot of energy into other people. You've been giving your energy to other people, even people that don't deserve it. You still had those patience because. You know, Virgos, y'all are natural healers. You guys are natural um, caretakers and things like that. Y'all care for people. You know, y'all are teachers as well. Y'all can teach people just not by many words, but just your actions. You know, your actions are somewhat your teacher. And you can teach people just by the way you act. Okay, Virgo, which you guys are very grounded, very disciplined. Um, you guys think a lot. You make uh, good decisions, you know, you know through your um, life experiences. So look, Virgo, look what you got. You see that treasure box right there? I'm digging in. I'm digging in. Watch out for the mices and mices, okay? That's around. Some people that you used to deal with, okay, I'm hearing spirits say you're going to have to let them go. They can't be a part of your legacy. They just can't because they mean you no good, okay? I feel like these are people that have already been in your life and they made you feel low, made you feel like you're nothing, and I feel like they're going to, as soon as they find out about your fortune, they're going to try to pop back up. Yep, here, you need to whip their ass too. Sorry, y'all. Whip them with the whip. All right? Hold your ground, uh, Virgos. Hold your ground. They do not, they are not worthy of this, whoever these people are that has been putting you down, making you feel like you ain't nothing, making you feel this, making you feel some kind of way, making you feel unhappy. Whip their asses. I'm telling you, this is the whip. You got the right to whip them like, like, look. You had your chance is what I had. Uh, that's what I heard uh, Spirit say. You had your chance. I don't know who this is that Spirit is talking to, but they're telling you, watch out for someone that may get a whiff of something about your fortune, your, in, your, your like, your inheritance, your, like, your, uh, your whole being. They're going to try to jump on board. Be careful, Virgo. This is the time to really stay focused in your life because things are turning your way. Don't be afraid to. I heard spirits say, don't be afraid. It's nothing to be afraid of. They just saying, be cautious. They saying, stay in hermit mode. You are the great hermit. You are the one that's knowledgeable. You can figure out things. You, you can read people like a book. So don't get fooled. Don't get fooled, don't get trapped, okay? Don't, don't. This may be dealing with a uh, some type of house, okay? About a home. You may be getting a home, buying a home. This may be uh, uh, something brought down from families or something like that. This is like generational here. I feel like you're gonna start a new, something about your generation, something about your, um, your, your ancestors leading you down a path to start like building a new path is what i'm hearing virgo like you're building a new path uh, a path that never was taken in your lifetime a path that never that that, that was kind of scattered and all over the place i feel you're 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 launching the new for your come on spirit tell me for your your for your generation, for your siblings, for your grandkids, for your great grandkids, you're paving the, the path for this. And it's gonna go down in your family history or something. Like, it's like, you, it's like after generation after generation, your family members are gonna be talking about you like, oh, this was him. And, you know, it, it, and this was, it was, I feel like some of you may need to write a book or something like that. So it doesn't have to be necessarily for, the world, but it could be, but it, I feel like it's necessary for, for you, for your, um, from your, for your family, like your family history or something like that, because what, what you do here is going to be a big, uh, impact for the generations to come. Remember you are your, <laughs> You are part of your um, family, okay? Your family, even if, when you move on, pass on, still, your blood is in their blood. You leaving something, you leaving a legacy here is what, a, a legacy. You worked hard for this, uh, Virgo. You truly have. You worked very hard for it. Spirit is telling me you deserve this. So take it, take it, take it. 
spirits tell me you've been uh, loyal to people who haven't been loyal to you. See that heart there? You've been very loyal. You've been, I'm hearing steadfast, Virgo. You've been very steadfast in your in your life and the way you done things and the way you treated people and um it just wasn't returned to you but it is now in the age of aquarius with saturn coming into aquarius in the age of aquarius i feel like you know ahead of time virgo you're going to be set okay spirit what is this uh i want to know what this whip is what's this we see the fortune we know that it's going to, virgo's going to have great fortune but can you clarify this whip and I believe it is what I was talking about. There's going to be a, like a little joker about, you know, somebody to think that they could just, yeah, here it is. Mm -hmm. Somebody who likes to start conflict, their drama, okay, five of wands. They're, they're, they're full of like a lot of drama here. Look, in the whip, look, drama, drama here. Somebody, you got to be careful uh, and keep your eyes open because this is yours and somebody knows it and they're going to come in and they're going to start a lot of conflict. They might try to destroy your inheritance I'm hearing too or your whatever you got going on here. And I'm hearing spirits say don't don't tell nobody nothing. Don't, don't tell anybody anything. Nobody is what I'm hearing because it's going to cause a lot of conflict and it may be for some of you it's going to be family conflict and for, you know once they get a whiff of this it's going to be family conflicts here everybody's going to come out with clubs ready to fight and carry on and start a lot of drama with the whip here see and it's all over this house okay about a house here it is what about this house so y'all just keep it on the low. Y'all good for keeping stuff on the low. Y'all the hermit. Y'all wise. <laughs> y'all have, you know, really good empathic abilities. You know, you know what's up. You know what's up. That's the song I just heard go through my head. You know what's up, Virgo. Okay. Yep. Yep, yep, the house. Okay, about this house is your fortune. This is your fortune with this house here, okay? This home. You. This is your own energy, the Ten of Pentacles. This is like I said, generational. Somebody's going to come. Generational stuff here. You're, you're paving a path for your own, uh, your own siblings and things like that to move forward in the future. They will be talking about you a lot because you're the first one that paved this path, you know? I heard you got gypped out of your um, inheritance and stuff like that, but this is coming, you're making this come full circle for yourself and for your generations to come. They will be talking about you. And um, I forgot to say, Spears, like nudging me, like you forgot to say what I told you to say, and that was, you could write a book. It, it, it can be like some of you may do it for, you know, the world, but some of you, most of you are going to be doing it for your own um, siblings like that's that your the generations. You're going to be telling them like what happened in the family, the, you know, and explaining things and stuff like that. And that's why I said whatever it is, is going to leave them talking about you, leaving a legacy that was like, uh, it was almost like, no, it was like, um, always conflict when it came to your legacy like in in the past probably even when you were younger it was some type of conflict it was some type of uh i heard hijack somebody hijacked this um legacy that was supposed to be for virgos but it's coming up now that you are having a legacy you're going to have the money you're going to have the home and you're going to leave things because the ten of pentacles virgo tars capricorn energy see that's a legacy. That's inheritance. That's uh, having enough to leave from one generation to another generation to another generation, Virgo. But, you know, keep your mouth shut. Don't tell nobody. You know, don't, don't, don't mention nothing. Because there's people here that's going to be envious. There's people here that's going to try to overstep their boundaries because they feel like um, they've done it before. Well, they don't know Virgo's a new Virgo now. You know, Virgo has gotten strength. Virgo has gotten um, knowledge. Virgo is wise now. Virgo sees through all the conflict and the chaos. And they're not having it. All they want is peace. Now, 
Let me see what this conflict is. This five of, let me see what that is. Let me just put one more card on that. Empress, okay? Because this conflict is about you receiving all the things that you deserve in life. That's what this conflict is about. Family conflict, outsider conflicts, exes, you name it. All this is in this 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 right here. It it's all there. It's like people coming out of the woodwork. But I feel like you're going to have a mate here or somebody here that's going to it's like has an empress status. It's like you two have the same type of status going on here with this fortune card like it's like I feel I feel in the energy that there's going to be Uh, a prosperous relationship like you're not going to be doing this by yourself you're not going to be taking care of other people that may try to come in and beg their way in or want to you know lay on your pro this is this is i feel like it's for your family and i feel like there's someone else a uh a, a, a relationship that's going to be here and both of you are going to be very prosperous it's almost like the Empress and the Emperor, okay? You're definitely much in your power right now, okay? Some of you may have Libra, Taurus energy in your chart, possibly. But you're going to be very uh, fruitful here. Again, I feel like with that baby there, I think, you see, this is the tree. How the tree entwined, this is like family stuff. This is all family coming together, entwined, and building a legacy, Virgo. You building, you're starting, the, you're the one that's going to start this legacy and pass it on throughout generations, throughout, you see, this is the family tree here. You're going to be set. And that's what these people are going to be in comp. Like, they, they're just going to be fighting a lot of competition and stuff like that because of your legacy. But you keep your eyes on the prize is all I say because you got this fortune card here. And it's definitely for you, Virgos, out there. Male, female, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Spirit just said to me for you Virgos out there who are watching this video that they, they are so proud of you. They're so proud of you because you've come a long way. And you deserve this happiness, Virgo. Don't blow it for anybody. Don't blow it for anybody is what I'm hearing because I feel like temptation may come along. There's always something that uh, will be testing you, okay? It's just a test. Remember that. Nobody's trying to hurt you anything. It's a test of how strong you're going to be. It's a test to see if you're really going to, you know, let uh, have this legacy uh, go fo forward here. It's a test. It's a test. Okay, Virgo, that's all I have for you. Good luck, you guys. This is into the uh, future here, far as I'm concerned for um, what's coming up in the age of Aquarius. Aquarius in Saturn, okay? So, where does this come from? Where is it supposed to go? Bear with me, y'all. Okay, so next up, we're going to have uh, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you guys, okay? What's going on with Cancer in the um, Aquarius, Saturn energy, moving on into the energy. We're just moving up a little, you know, like I said, we're still in the Saturn energy, which is, you know, still got a lot of stuff, a lot of energy that needs to be wiped away and cut out. But I just, I'm just, I'm just taking this time to go a little bit farther into the future, okay? Into the future, see what's coming up. That's all. Kind of lighten things up a little bit with this divine masculine and all this kind of stuff, and 
the fighting and stuff like that of what's going on, the spiritual warfare. Spirits allow me to do this. I prayed about it. I'm like, oh, I'm so tired of talking about this car mix and the wall. Oh, can you just please? Can I please? And so they, you know, they granted me this. So here's the energy. Uh, Cancer, I feel like a lot of you are being blessed or, in, you know, having blessings coming up towards you. There's some blessings coming towards you, Cancer. Yeah, may the sun be at your back is what Spirit is telling me with these blessings. This is like an overflow of blessings. This is very emotional, I'm hearing. It could be some of you because you are a water sign. The sun is starting to shine. The start, the, 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 look, I'm hearing for some of you, don't give up. I'm hearing like some of you want to just give up and get out or something like that. But don't. Don't. In, in this season coming up, and uh, the energy of Aquarius season's coming up. The Saturn and Aquarius is coming up. These about changes, abrupt changes, new things coming. Um, old things, old habits, old ways going to the wayside. So, Cancer, don't give up because your blessing is coming. You see that sun coming out? Like it's just like a new dawn, a new day. A new day of uh, Cancer. Let me get one more. Work. Okay, some of you are going to be working. I feel like you're going to have your own... I'm picking up a lot of energy coming into the age of Aquarius moving forward. There's going to be energies to where people are going to be doing their own thing. You know working from home see they getting accustomed to it a little bit now instead of getting out there and all in the hustle and bustle i feel like people are going to stop a stop establish their own and uh their own businesses doing their own thing um when it comes to work uh some of you may be like some mad scientists and cooking up some stuff is what i'm hearing spirit say cancers you're going to be cooking up some stuff you know in 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 your work and i feel like a lot of you is going to be creating something for the universe. Everybody's going to be turned into these massive creators, like creating things, doing things, feeling free, like not in where, oh, I'm going to be late or, oh, no, you're going to schedule your own time and do your own thing from home. So, you know, so it takes that extra stress off, okay? Giving your own self um, upgrades, giving your own self, uh, what they call it, uh, raises, you know, um, This is where your blessings are going to take place. This is where big ideas are coming in. This is an overflow of blessing for you when it comes to your work, with, with the things that you dreamed of wanting to do, what you were wanting to be, not what society wants you to be, but with who you want to be. That's going to happen to a lot of people uh, in the near future, in the age of Aquarius, there's a lot of things, good things coming here. Just hold on. I'm hearing spirits say, hold on, y'all. So, Cancer, I feel like you had to go through a tower moment here. Okay, it may have been with a partner or someone that you were married to. I feel like there was a lot of conflict things going on there. So... <clears throat> Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, can you give me more on this conflict, this past, this is past energy I'm hearing. This was in the past, okay? Sometimes we have to look at our past in order to move forward to the future, okay? Why did all this happen? So, yeah, it was a marriage, the, uh, the Queen of Cups and the King of uh, Swords. So this was about a marriage here or some kind of relationship that took place in the past. Yeah that had some strife and some difficulties. For some of you, I'm picking up the energy that you, um, the tower moment came for both of y'all, some kind of realization for both of you. And I feel like maybe both of you had some things to work on in this marriage here. And I feel like, you know, it was stressful a little bit. You know, some things had to be cut out. Some, you know, some things had to be aired out. For some of you, yeah, I feel like you're still together, but you went through some type of tower moment. You may even have split up and went two different ways, but it looks like some kind of rejuvenation here. The tower had to fall for a new beginning, for something else to happen because you're still standing upright as the king and queen, divine feminine, divine masculine here for some of you cancers. 
So some of you may have been dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Some of you have been dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Let me pull one more card for this. And I feel like some of you may have, you know, just went your own separate ways completely, some of you, from this relationship and moving on to something new. Okay. Yeah, see, yeah, ending. Some of you have ended something here in a marriage or relationship here was an ending. Some of you, I believe, you know, rebuilt this relationship like I just said. Thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. Yeah, some of you rebuilt, rebuilt the relationship. Some ended, some rebuilt, just like I had with uh, Spirit told me earlier, okay? Whew. Moving forward, Spirit, into the age of Aquarius, the, the Aquarius um, Saturn energy. Can you still show me something? What else you want to tell Cancer before we check out here? What else? Hmm. The Queen of Coins, okay? So some of you um, are going to establish a new relationship if you haven't already. For those who totally left their marriage or situation behind. It could be family too, ties that were cut and stuff like that. But I feel like... Um, there is a, a king or a queen here. Remember, there's no gender here. There's no specific thing here. But somebody who is very dependable, reliable, stable, um, that's coming into your life to compliment you, okay? That's what I meant to say on Virgos. There's somebody coming around um, in your sphere doing, you know, moving forward that's going to compliment what you're doing, not try to take away. There's somebody going to try to take away from what you got and try to destroy it. Like, but you're, then I'm sorry, go back to Virgo, but I'm sorry because that's what I meant to tell Virgo, but you're going to be strong enough to, to, to understand what's going on as well as cancer. There's somebody here to compliment you and your mission of where you're doing moving forward work and everything else there's just a big blessing coming along and i'm just keep hearing spirit say y'all hold on because i feel like some of y'all just want to give up especially after what happened in this marriage for some of you or this relationship you have with someone i feel like that really kind of knocked y'all off your really was emotional over the whole situation is what i'm hearing so don't worry, Cancer. Everything's going to be just fine. Just hang in there, okay? Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. <sighs> okay, Spirit. We have next is Leo with that fire energy. Leo. Let's see what's going on with you, Spirit. Ancestors, what messages do you have to deliver for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign from Leo uh, for Saturn and Aquarius and the age of Aquarius. And the season of Aquarius because, hey, y'all birthdays are coming up, okay? So it's a season, an age, and um, and the Saturn and Venus. I'm sorry, Saturn and uh, Aquarius energy. So that's a real big energy here that we're working with. That's why I asked Spirit, please. Please show me something. Go into the future and see what we have here so we can bring on some good news, okay? <laughs> wow, that one went flying high up. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Leo, y'all fired up, aren't you? Ooh, secret. Secret. I hear spirits saying, there's someone around you that possibly could be wearing a mask. It could be you. It could be... No, no, there's no telling here. It could be someone around you. But there's a secret here that you need to look into. Uh, okay, let's let's confirm this secret. I'm going to confirm the secret. I'm going to pull one more of these, and then I'm going to confirm the secret. Pull one more on it. Somebody at your work. This is you, Leo the Lion, that you're ready to roar at. You're ready to, like... Speak your peace. Something you're going to find out about your job or something about your job and you're going to be speaking your peace. That, that's the Leo card right there. That's, that's you guys. Something's going to come out 
uh, regarding work situation, and it's going to call. It, it, it's going to bring some. The secret's going to come out, and you're going to like be that mighty lion and defend yourself. I'm hearing defend yourself. Yeah, somebody's being slick. Yeah, there's somebody slick around you, Leo. Okay. Somebody very slick, very cunning, okay? Very uh, manipulative energy here. But Spirit's telling me you got the key to the freaking streets here, okay? You got the key to the streets. When you when you start roaring to this here foxy, fox person here, somebody who's deceptive, like I said, manipulative and think they clever, they think they got it going, you're going to throw the key to the streets at them. You're going to be like, whoa, whoa, hold up, what's up? Who you think you dealing with here? What do you think is... <laughs> Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see some more energy on this, okay? Let's see. The secret. I feel like Spirit saying something has to come out before things move forward in a situation. Especially at work. You might have met somebody at work. Somebody who's trying to be clever and, and conniving. But you got the you got the key to the streets here though, uh, Leo. So roar. Roar. Let them know you know what's up. What? See the eight of swords. I feel like it's this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. I feel like it's someone who may be trying to keep you trapped or, you know, not see something or, you know, or, you know, you having the key to the streets may, you know, put this person in a a, 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 a stalemate type of, uh, or cause them to overthink or, or, or feeling trapped in a situation. You might trap this person up while they trying to trap you up, you know, being slick. You got the key to the street, so you're going to have them in, in some type of entrapment once you make this mighty roar to them, speaking up for yourself, letting them know, hey, I know what's up, whoever this is. Can you show us more about this situation for Leo, Summer, Rising, and Venus? Wow, that's too many, Spirit. Can you just give me a little bit less than that? <laughs> wow, Leo, Summer Rising and Venus. What's up? What's up? What's up? What is this stuff that got to get cleared out here? Wow, yeah. Here we go, the Hermit. Okay, Major Arcana, major event here. So, you're going to show this person the light. Look at this. You got the key to the streets that they didn't know you had here. They didn't know it because they were trying to be clever and slick. Whatever they was doing, trying to be clever and slick. You know, you, you're gonna, it, it, for some of you it's at work, for some of you it could be a home family situation. Put it as it applies. You got the key to these streets. You're gonna let this clever person, slick person know this. You going, you know, have, you, I feel like the, it's a flip of the script is what I'm hearing spirit say. Whatever they thought they was going to do to you is going to be done to them because that's the energy that's going on now. Whoever, whoever trying to still be fox and slick, trying to slick people, this energy that we're in moving forward is like, everybody's going to see the light. You see it with the hermit. You see it. You went inside, like I said, using your intuition, following your spirit guides, because that's what the hermit did. You got wise on somebody here that try to be slick and try to hold you back or hold you down. You got wise, you got hit, okay? Some of you, some of you, it is about a job situation. Leave your comments below and let me know, Leo. So being that this came up, I wanna see what's the possible outcome here for Leo from this situation. Wow, yeah, love, love love and cutting away shit that no longer serves you an ending for new beginning this is the ten of swords here this is the two of cups possibly i don't know y'all can correct me if i'm wrong but that's what i'm feeling from this it's, it's gonna bring on love and cutting away after you cut away you know these people that trying to be a fox this goes with this this fox energy, sneaky, conniving, 
type of energy. Four plus one is five. Somebody who likes to start problems, the five of wands. Eight of swords. Putting somebody in some type of entrapment and you're going to be putting an ending to it. You're going to end this. You're going to cut it all out. And then, you know, there's the sun. And there's your love, okay? There's love there. That's the outcome, I feel, for you guys. So... If this hasn't happened yet, it's, it's coming, okay? You're going to be cutting out a lot of stuff, a lot of people um, that's trying to backstab you here. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, Leo, that was for you. Excuse me, y'all. Okay, so we got Taurus next Taurus fiery energy coming up fire energy okay ancestors spirit what is the energies that you want to send to me the, the messages for summer rising me to sign for Taurus cross watchers what is the energy that you want to give here Okay, there we go. This, oh, two want to come out. Oh, fortune and quest. So, it, you know, in this new energy, the net, the, the, the upcoming energies, okay? Past the, the, well, into, but going forward into the new, okay? Because we're still in that little harsh energy with Saturn being here with what goes around comes around, okay? So good fortune is coming to you, and it's some kind of quest. I feel like there's some kind of journey or something that you're going to go on here with the quest card. I feel like um, somebody may be moving. Somebody may have to move in order to attain this good, this good fortune here that's coming in. Or I feel like Spirit saying for some of you are been working on something for a long time and in this new age it's going to take off. Okay, it's going to take off. It's it's going to benefit. It's going to benefit you. You're going to make a lot of money off of this. Uh, Taurus is out there. Yeah, some kind of something that you're going to be doing. Let's see here. many okay spirit guys what else is going on what's going on wow yeah you got the sun card this is this is a leo energy so some of you i feel like it's going to be happy on this quest of yours see that road right there that kind of confirms what i said it's like something that you've been working on something that you've been doing And, and, and you're headed towards the sun, okay? You're headed towards the sun. There's a great happiness that's coming out of this situation, uh, Tauruses. If you are, are doing something now, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Because it's going to pay off. The sun is at your back, okay? <laughs> the sun is the most high beaming down on you. Uh, some of you, I feel like it's going to get a new... Some of you are getting a new home where there's lots of prosperity, whatever this, whatever this is that you're doing is going to bring on a lot of good fortune, finances, and a stable home, a lot of stability at your home here. Some of you may be even, you know, getting married or planning to get married. Wow. Go, you go, Taurus. You go, you go, you go, Taurus. You go. Whoa. Okay. i keep my incense from Okay, Holy Spirit, someone rising. What other message? Wow, this one to stick out. What's this? Yeah, magician. See, you guys are cooking up something. You Taurus is out there cooking up something. You're manifesting something here with the magician. This major arcana card here, okay? Uh, the magician is Virgo and Gemini's energy. So, hey, we just had those three conjunctions here. So, I feel like that may have a lot to do with it with the... Um, 
manifestation it's all about manifestation and you got the fool card here see this is a new beginning here something new something new whatever this is that you're manifesting is new it's gonna it start you know it's like a new start this whatever this is that you're bringing forth is gonna be something brand new whatever you get ready to deliver to the world is gonna be something brand new Taurus See, that's, this is good. Wow. Two of coins. So, I feel like for some of you, might have been juggling two things, may have two jobs, working on two things, at this, you know, and trying to balance out your situation here, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here. So, this is y'all energy, okay? You're in your own energy here. You're in your own. You might be juggling a lot, doing a lot, have a lot, but I feel like you're trying to put everything in the balance, and I feel like it's going to happen with this brand new beginning, this new start here, and I feel like you're manifesting it yourself. You've manifested a good home, a nice home. Some of y'all are getting a new, a new home, stability. Some of you are getting married if you're not already. You're going to have happiness and joy here with this new quest this quest reminds me of the fool card like a new beginning okay and uh, it's going to be a fortunate situation for you so that's what i have for you taurus congratulations to y'all really congratulations all right let's move on to aries sun moon rising and venus sign for aries let's see what spirit what do you have for Aries? What's going on? And, you know, hmm, they came right out. That was a lot. What do we have for Aries? Holy Spirit. What do we have for Aries here? Okay, what's the messages you want for Aries? Someone rising in Venus signs. Welcome, you cross watchers. Remember, all I say is hit that like button on your way out. That's all I ask, y'all. Okay, thank you for everything. Thank you for viewing. But. I don't need nothing from you. Thank you so much. But your share, if you like to share it as well. Anything else, that's on you. If you Whatever you want to do. I'm just a messenger. I come on here to get delivered the messages. And that's it. I'm out. Okay. For Aries, I feel like, yeah, roar. There's some... <laughs> for you guys up with this card, I'm feeling like you could be dealing with a Leo. But I'm feeling like... You guys, there's somebody who wants to speak to you or you're trying to get your attention, I'm hearing. Somebody trying to get your attention, um, Aries. Let's see what's going on with that roar. They they really crying out or trying to speak out. And they're trying they're now it's, I feel like for a lot of y'all it's happening now. Like I feel like this person, whoever this is trying to get your attention here with the roar card, Leo energy, I feel like they they feel like their time is up. They do. They feel like their time is up. They feel like they something may be lost here. Let's look at the um let's look at this one. Somebody. Yeah, look. It's um I feel like you Aries has have a new it's this spirit okay i feel like you guys are like protected by spirit by your 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 higher self your ancestors your spirit guides i feel like you're heavily protected somebody's being i feel like being real real pushy here but i feel like you're protected by spirit that's what i'm picking up you you protected from someone who got a i'm hearing it got a big mouth Okay, yeah, you got the truth. I'm hearing this again for you guys got the key to the street. Look, when you got spirit by your side, your ancestors, the most high and all that, you got the key to the street. You can do whatever you want to do. You walking around with the key to the streets, okay? Aries, so whatever this is, don't worry about it. You're heavily protected here. Let's see some more energy here for this. Coming up, coming up here. Some of Rod and Venus. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is this going on here? What other message do you want me to deliver? Wow. Okay. They said, yeah. Yeah, somebody who breaks your heart, all right, with the king or queen in reverse. Somebody who's very manipulative. They could be a... a they could be a, I'm sorry, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
they're in reverse here. They can't get no rest, okay? They can't get no rest. That's why this now card is here. It's like they really pushing the issue. They feel like their time is out with you. Whatever the situation is, y'all can apply it to the situation for some of you. And I just feel like they're like, they're not getting any rest. And they're getting very aggravated. And they may be starting to manipulate, like I said, being desperate here and manipulating something to go their way. I feel like this, you know, in the uprightness, this is getting rest and having peace. This, this is no peace here. I feel like they may be, you know, harassing you. And you're not getting any peace or you have peace and they don't, period. They don't have the peace that you have. Yeah, this could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. With this Five of Cups, I feel like they focusing on um, um, whoever this is. It may be, look, this. I'm sorry, so much stuff coming through. I'm hearing this part. You may be involved. This might be a relationship type of thing. You may be been involved with someone that you maybe broke up with or just off and on with, back and forth with. That has been a pain in your ass. That's what I just heard, okay? Sorry. Been a pain. And they see you being serious because you're protected by the most high now. You got all the angels. You got the keys to the streets, okay? So this person wants to come back, try to make a comeback before you really cut this off. Because they feel this protection around you. So they want, you, they want to try to rattle your cage here or rattle you. And pull you back down to their level is what I'm hearing. So you have to be careful, um, Aries, with that energy because somebody's focusing on, you know, these deadened cups here. You're looking to have a new beginning with the two of cups and that sun is shining on those two of cups and they're like miserable. They're miserable because of it. So that's why they, you know, rough, trying to ruffle your feathers here to stop you from moving forward to your two of cups that's back there that you, that you ready to do. That's what I'm picking up. Wow. What's the possible outcome? Heavily a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have, uh, they could have, uh, air in their chart too, or you ha might have air in your chart, but. Be careful with this person. They're trying to stop you from moving forward. You, you've been, uh, I'm hearing you've been a, a, a you've been through this stuff with this person several times, and you keep getting disappointed. You keep getting empty cups. So I feel like now you're being protected from this person. They see you moving on. They feel the grace. They feel you're going to get something new, but they're going to try to uh, stop it. The outcome is you having strength enough to move forward. Like I said, this is major arcana here. So spirit is really protecting you. They protecting you. They giving you the strength. They, you know, they giving you the courage to move on. They taming the beast with inside yourself. Like say if this person used to know how to push your buttons to make you mad. I feel like you got um, control of that right now. They can't push your buttons the way they used to is what I'm hearing. Let me give you an advice card, I feel like, for Aries, because I feel like this is a touchy, touchy situation here. It could go one way or the other, but I, I'm here to let you know um, from your spirit guys that they are watching over you. They see you. They they know what's up, and they're protecting you. So, you know, use that energy to keep it moving and, and, and have the strength to move forward, because I feel like this person knows how to press your button. I really do. But um, I feel like, you know, use that protection that's around you now. Use it. Okay, now. Okay, use it now. <laughs> Let's see. You are, um, okay, this is about change, see? See, this person know you changing. This person could feel the energy of you changing and moving past them, like moving past their manipulation, moving past their uh, cunning ways that they used, used to have on you. They see this, and they're still trying, but you're in a, you know, Spirit said it's time to change, okay? You are uh, transforming. Let go of the past, see? Letting go of the past. Enhance the light and joy of this new day. So there is brand new beginning for you, Spirit. Done, you know, just confirm that information. Time to move on from this past energy here. It's not serving you anymore, okay? It's not. 
moving forward into the age, the new age, okay? What's what's for coming? What's coming up? What you need to be aware of as you're moving forward. Okay, Aries. Now we are doing Capricorn. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Spirit, Holy Spirit, ans ancestors, what is the message that you have to me to give to sun, moon, rising, Venus, sign for Capricorn? Cross watches may benefit off of this. Remember, you guys, all I ask for you is to, you know, get that big thumbs up, you know, when you leave the building here, okay? That's all I ask you to do. That's so, so simple and easy. I appreciate it. I really do. I don't, I don't think nothing else. And I just want to thank y'all for, for tuning in, too, okay? Thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers. You know I love y'all to death. You know that. All right? <clears throat> so, there's the retreat card, okay? So... The retreat card is telling me some of you Capricorns are maybe taking a vacation, taking a time out from whatever situation it be. It could be love. It could be family. It could be anything. Maybe just for yourself, you're taking a time out here. I'm hearing some of you may just be laid off or something like that from your job. You're kind of laid off and you're kind of like chilling. Some of you are taking a step back from a situation. This reminds me of the hermit card, okay? Retreating, going within. You may be going within inside yourself to see the light, to figure something out. There's something maybe some of you trying to figure out here. So, you know, you have to kind of like back off. Or, it, you know, the, the energies could be vice versa. Somebody could be doing this to you, Capricorn. Yeah, backing off from the drama, look. You're retreating from some drama situation, Drama, five of uh, wands in the, the tarot deck, okay? Retreat, the hermit, the major arcana card in the tarot deck is what I'm seeing it. So there's a lot of drama, conflict, things like that going on now or coming up or could be going on and you're trying, you know, you want to retreat from that energy. You want to pull back your energy from this drama, this chaos or whatever's going on here. Let me pick one more and see. <clears throat> No, let me use this deck, this other deck. Somebody might be playing. This popped up in the up, you know, as I was shuffling it, flipped over. So I'm going to put this out here. Somebody was playing. Somebody could be playing games with you, starting a lot of conflict and drama, and you're, you're like retreating from it or vice versa. There's somebody playing games. Could be male, female, too. Let's see what's going on here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign for Capricorn. Moving in. Well, we are in Capricorn season right now. Okay, so happy birthday to a lot of you Capricorn. And we are going to be moving into the energy of uh, Aquarius. We are in Aquarius and Saturn now. Okay, and then moving forward to the age of Aquarius as well. So there's a lot of energies, okay? So it could be somebody that you're married or live with with the Four of Wands. Okay, something going on in the home, somebody playing games with you in your home, you know, um, you know, somebody playing with your stability here, Capricorn, yeah, look, somebody's trying to um, take what you got, somebody's like a miser, okay, somebody's like a taker of stuff, somebody like to mooch off of you, this is a moocher, we got a moocher in the house, Capricorn. What I see, like you, you re retreating. You're like, hold up, wait a minute. Could be family, a, a, gr a girlfriend, boyfriend situation. Put it in how it, re how it, it is to you, as it's being said, Capricorn. Let's look at this some more. Okay, what are the messages you have for me to relay for the sun, moon, rising, being a sign of Capricorn spirit? What's the messages? I'm turn my heat on. It's hot. Hot, hot. It's so hot. I'm burning up. <laughs> okay, what's this situation here? I see a lot of cards in the reverse. Am I re Let me put this up right? Maybe I didn't. <sighs> Spirit really wants to talk to Capricorns. What's going on here? What is this energy? We can't be in this energy. We're talking about, you know, moving forward here. But, you know, there's some residual energy for some of you signs, for some of y'all. 
just moving on from situations. But there's some things that do need to be cleared out before our energy moves forward. And that's what I'm here to present to you. What is this? What is it? All right. So, again, see? Confirming the Hermit. That's the retreat card. Remember I said that? Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? So, this is talking about going inside and seeing the light. You know, kind of like retreating, okay? Being to yourself, being alone, all right? And the chariot. And then, wow, major arcana. You got two major arcana cards here. So you're thinking about, you know, just moving forward out of this drama situation, moving forward because it's just too much. You got, they just mooching off of you, okay? And taking the harmony and stability uh, away from you in your home, in your own home. And somebody's just playing, playing. And you're, you don't want nothing to do with it. So you're just going to move on after you've gathered your knowledge and, and from the hermit energy, after you retreat and think about things, you're just going to move on. I feel like you're, you're moving on from somebody here, uh, Capricorn, because <laughs> the chariot talks about moving, pull yourself together, just moving on, like, with the quickness, not even looking back. Study as she go. <laughs> Dealing with the dark and the light side energy here, like, pulling them together. Like, you're in the middle, see? That's where you're supposed to be, in the middle of light and dark. Yep, and yep, Spirit saying that's the truth here. This is the truth, okay? Ace of Swords, it's the truth. It's the truth. This is the truth. You done found out the truth. You done got clarity and everything. And they're saying you're doing the right thing by moving forward. Or, or if you haven't already, you this is what's going to take place. Is This is the advice that you, it's, you're going to find out the truth by just retreating from the situation. As you accept the truth, you're going to be moving forward. Yay, Capricorn. Yay. Yay, 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 yeah. And you're moving on, I feel like, to a new relationship, a new partnership here, okay? That's your choice because the lover's about a choice. So you're making a choice to move on to another relationship here with the lovers. Whether it be family, friends, whatever, put it in your own thing here. This is just general okay any more messages for someone rising okay let's see one more here okay 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 um yeah you want peace this this is going to bring you peace okay you that's what you want you just want peace you want relaxation you want comfort you just want to be at peace here you don't need all this drama it's like you're moving away from drama and you're going into a relationship where you feel at peace with somebody you feel at peace with, it could be a Gemini or a, uh, who else is, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, a, a air sign, Aries, Sag Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, sorry. <laughs> this is a Gemini here with the lover's card. So you so you may have air in your chart or you may be dealing with somebody who has air. It could be an air sign because I'm seeing a lot of air. Let's see something here. What's the possible outcome here for Capricorn? <laughs> oh, man. Spirituality. Peace. Again, peace. Peace. And sun card. Happiness and peace, okay? And your spirit guides are protecting you, okay? There's your spirit guide. There's your ancestors protecting you. The sun is going to be at your back, so you're going to have plenty of happiness, plenty of joy. This is the best energy card in the deck. Some of you may be, end up with a Leo, okay? A Taurus, okay? Because I'm looking at this as being a Hierophant. That's a great outcome. I'm not even going, I'm not going, I'm just giving you a vice card and that's it. But I, this is a great, the outcome here for a lot of you will be this. I feel like for those who's watching this video. Okay, your vice card is sanctuary, which is peace. Your peace within, peace within inside of you. The hermit, peace within inside. Uh, the solitude, peace within inside. This is what brought you to this uh, revelation. You know, this is what brought you to see the light. The, you know, everything exposed here through your spirit guides and your ancestors. <laughs> so Sanctuary says, embrace the need for uh, solitude. Again, it's talking about solitude. Listen to your ancestors. In solitude, you can hear everything. They will tell you everything, but you have to, you have to be quiet. You have to settle yourself down. You have to get receive the light energy, okay? So it talks about you doing a lot of solitude, being to yourself while you think about things. Your inner sanctuary calls you 
um, I'm sorry, causes you yourself and and thrive. Okay. So this is what's going to bring you to this peace, serenity, whether it's a relationship, friendship, partnership, whatever it is, it's going to bring you a whole lot of peace and happiness in your life through you going inside yourself is where your answers are going to be. Congratulations to you guys. Like I said, the best card in the deck. I can feel that energy just flowing through in me. Congratulations, Capricorn, coming up to this new season that we're in. I feel like you're just going to have peace and love and joy and happiness over this drama. It's like you don't want drama. No more drama in my life, I hear Spirit saying. No more drama in my life for Capricorn. Capricorn, I put up with a lot of stuff. Capricorns are very, very, uh, they're like workaholics. They like to get the job done. And if they're going to be with a partner, they want the partner to, um, to match them and, and what their dreams and goals are. They want the partner to have dreams and goals too, because you know, Hey, like I said, Capricorns get out there and they put in the work. They put in the work. Now, one Capricorn that I have met that don't put in the work, they, they got their stuff together. And yeah, they're going to have to have a partnership and go inside themselves and ask Spirit to bring them someone who is compatible with them that can keep up, is what I'm hearing Spirit say, that can keep up with that Capricorn energy as we moving forward. So that's what I got for you guys. Okay, Capricorn, very good. I'm so proud of you. Keep Keep, you, keep your eyes on the prize, what I've just heard, Capricorn. Let me get something to drink real quick, y'all. Then I'm going to go to Sagittarius. Sagittarius here. I may switch on cards too, y'all. So Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There you go. Sagittarius energy. All this hot energy is making me hot, y'all. Woo! Not in that way now. Come on, y'all. Get your head out of the gutter. Get your head out of the gutter. I gotta close my curtain so y'all just give me a minute when I get up from doing this one. It's getting dark out there. And it is 5.14. So, it's usually dark by 4, so it is getting dark later. Ha 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 I'm silly. Sorry, y'all. Holy Spirit, ancestors, what is the messages that you have for me moving forward for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? So they flipped two cards out here. Wait and get your knowledge, okay? Wait and wisdom came up. So the wait card, I feel like, is the seven of pentacles in um, the tarot and the wisdom is the, I feel like the Hermit. I'm I, I, I hear two things here with the wisdom, or it could be the Hierophant as well. So let's just go with these energies. Somebody here needs to wait. Oh, don't, don't rush something here. Don't rush. They're saying, hold up, wait a minute. We got some wisdom for you. We got some knowledge for you. But you have to wait for a moment to, to gather this knowledge and wisdom. Okay, Spirit, what is this for Sagittarius? What are they waiting on? What are they waiting on? What is the what is the wisdom that you have for them is what I want to know. What's the wisdom? Hmm. That you got the key to the streets, okay? That you that your opportunities are are here for you. That's what they want to want you to know. You got the opportunities, opportunities. Hmm. And see, spirit is here in this age of Aquarius, this Saturn uh, transit, this Aquarius and Saturn transit. These energies are all coming in like people are being protected by their ancestors and spirit guides here. But, you know, we have to take our time, okay? We have to, you know, take our time to figure this stuff out. This is what's going on. Do we, what do we want to do here? Okay. What other energies you have coming for Sagittarius? Two cards fell down, excuse me. So there's going to be some type of stability, some type of e even give and take, okay? Some type of, uh, this is the, uh, I'm sorry. 
six of cup, uh, six of coins, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So I'm feeling like somebody is getting some type of knowledge and they're getting, you know, the keys to the streets to understand that, you know, your spirit guides are watching you and, um, blessing you and it's, due to your finances possibly or some type of relationship or something that has to do with money something that has to do with something being practical and logical something solid here is being offered yes the two of wands yeah two of wands it's a choice though you need to make a choice here that's why they want you to wait and gain this knowledge this is the message that you got the keys to the streets and the spirit guides and you need to kind of like listen to what they have to say to direct your life here because they are trying to tell you something. It's got to do with your stability here and it's got to do with uh, making that choice so you can make the right choice here, okay, with the two of wands. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus. Some of you, Virgo. Some of you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is in here heavy. Some of you, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So this is y'all energy, okay? Some of y'all energy is in here. Okay, so what's up? I'm listening. Spirit, I'm listening. <laughs> okay, so we got the Queen of Cups or the King of Cups. Remember, there's no gender here. So it's for some of you, it's about a relationship or someone that you have to choose from. This Queen of Cups is someone or King of Cups is someone who is... Uh, who is very uh, loving, very caring, very nurturing, okay? She's something like the, she's something like the, 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 the nine of pentacles or pre-empress energy. She's, she likes to, she's very focused as well. She's the type that, or he, that has visions. Like they have some type of energy to where they can see things or you know feel things they're they're highly intuitive can i put it that way there's somebody here highly intu intuitive and you know the same thing here with you know going inside yourself waiting getting the information the energies from your ancestors and spirit god so it can lead you uh in the right direction here because there's a choice to be made here for some of you yeah the choice some of you may be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio and here we have aquarius gemini libra so Again, wait, 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 wait until the veil is lifted. Don't say nothing. Don't do nothing because, you know, that is a stalemate. This is somebody that's being quiet about not making no choice, okay? They're not, there's two, there's a choice. See, you got the two of wands and the two of uh, swords. So one of them is a mental, see, this is about mental and, you know, then taking action on it. Once you get some kind of mental clarity, it's just like, don't say nothing. Just wait before you make a choice here, okay? And it's regarding possibly this king or queen of cups here, all right? What other energies? What other, what else is it that you can give us here? I might switch cards out here for the next one, maybe. Hmm. The world card. But I have to say the world card is in reverse. So the world card talks about a new be you know, a new beginning, leaving things behind that no longer serve us, like crossing over, like just, you know, leaving the past in the past, and there's no going back when the world card here, but it's in reverse. Somebody's trying to not let something go. This is what I'm picking up. Somebody here is not letting, don't want to let something go here. They want to con they want to redo a cycle again. They want to go through this cycle again because the world card's in reverse. Like in upright, it's not, you ain't repeating a cycle. A cycle is completed and done. So spirit is saying there's something, a choice that has to be made about a cycle that keeps repeating itself. Sagittarius. What's this that keeps repeating itself? What's, the, what's this cycle that keeps repeating, spirit? Or the possible outcome, something, do us something else. Something else. <laughs> it's something else. Okay, here we go. Okay, so hmm. 
I feel like this is a marriage or a relationship. Now we have the, the, the Knight of Wands, somebody who's very ambitious, somebody who's very, you know, straightforward, somebody who is very passionate driven, action driven, likes to get, they like to get the job done. They like to just move forward in a, in a fast kind of way. This person could be all over the place. This person could be a player. Like don't, they don't, they know how to use their charm. They're very charming and very mag. I'm here magnetic. This person has a magnet, mag uh, some type of personality that brings people in. But once they bring people in, it's like they might see something else they like and they're just going to leave and go somewhere else. So this is this person, somebody here, it could be this king. Or, okay, we got a king or queen. So I'm going to say the queen of cups is probably not ending a cycle with a player. Okay, the knight of wands. Or it could be a father, it could be a son, a daughter, anything like that, however it be, okay? Yeah, it's got to do with a marriage that's over. Somebody, it's over with, though. It's over. Because this, this Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is in reverse. Upright is like the completion of a happy family, happy home, but it's not. It's like ending. Or it's just somebody don't want to end it. But it's, you know, it's not healthy. Hold on a second, y'all. I got to close these curtains. I don't want nobody looking at me. Hold on. I'm back, y'all. Sorry about that. Okay, I had to close my windows. Okay, so we on Sagittarius. Like, there's something in some type of relationship here that is needs to end. The cycle needs to end, okay? It needs to. But somebody's not doing it. But spirit is giving you the opportunity to take the time out and go inside. See, that's why they're saying wait. Wait. Before you see. There we go. You heard that, didn't you? Because you need to gather some wisdom. You, there's something you need to know here. And I just, I feel like spirit done told you through me. There's some situation you don't want to end up. But you got to know that you're protected. And you got the keys to the streets, honey. You know what's up. You know what's up. Sagittarius, you know. I don't know what's going on with y'all readings. But let me know in the comment section, okay. That, you know, somebody's not getting any sleep. They're over this relationship or marriage whatever shit this is okay somebody's don't want to let this go seriously and they're burdened over they can't sleep they're having nightmares somebody's stressed out as hell here somebody's stressed out i'm going to give you some advice okay that's what i'm gonna give you some advice let me pull one of these here Okay, Holy Spirit, what are the messages for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus moving forward here. What is it? What is it? Okay. Hmm. So let it whip, child. So let it whip, yeah. So somebody got the whip here, okay? Yeah. There's conflict here. There's conflict, definitely. We see that. Definitely conflict. Well, Saggies, what y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? See, and, you know, users, there's users around trying to mooch off of you, see? Trying to mooch off. You got, you got some users around. Somebody using you or some people using you need to crack this whip down on them. Need to crack it down. I'm going to give you some advice and I'm going to end this for you guys, okay? If you need a personal private reading, I'm open for those, okay? Sagittarius's, I'll be to see some, you know, on an individual basis what's up here for some of you. You're welcome to leave your comments down below. Let me know what's up. Pil, pil, pilmages. Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. I could just said it. Pilgrimage. Pilgrimage. Okay, it's something like community, like people around you or something in the community. People. 
you are on a journey to your own greatness your soul is um longing to find the way the two of cups the two of swords i'm sorry two of swords and the two of wands there is a decision here that needs to be made you're stressing out all over it and there's something that somebody either don't want to let you go or you don't want to let somebody else go of this uh continuous cycle here but spirit is telling you and this is confirming it that hey sagittarius you it's time to move on you're longing to find the way. Only you can choose your growth or your what is, your path. Only you can choose your path here. And it's, yep, per, really clear here. This is a clear cut thing here. Here's the two twos right here. You got a path to choose from. You're not saying nothing right now, okay? Or something like that. But there needs to be a choice that has to be made here. And you have to, you know, take that journey or need to take that journey. There's some people you need to get out of your life here, uh, Sagittarius. They're just taking advantage here, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. But all's will be well if you go inside and listen to what Spirit is trying to tell you here. Here's confirmation that I just read to you. You're, you, you're, on, your, you're on a journey. You're on a path here. You need to choose wisely. Choose wisely. Yeah, Sagittarius, choose wisely. You you know, just go inside yourself. Get some spiritual help if you need. Get a reading, you know, and, and, and get some help on what, what path here that may be difficult for you to choose here. There's some there's some some people in the way. Okay, Sagittarius. Thank you so much. Okay, now we are into Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay. Spirit, what is it that you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as we are moving forward a little bit ahead of time here? <laughs> Thank you for this energy that you allowed me to give. I appreciate it. Sometimes we get tired of the... I know I do. Same messages. I know we're in that energy. I know we need that energy in order for us to push forward. But I'm just trying to take a little y'all into a little sneak peek of what's coming up into in the, in the age of Aquarius, the season of Aquarius, and the um, Aquarius and Saturn conjunction here. What could be you know coming out of it for some of you? For some of you, again. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Aries, uh, Libra. It's time for you to build or you're building something or working on something. It's time to work on something or build something is what's coming up for you, Libra. Or maybe you built a lot or something or established something here. Uh, it has to do with work, okay? For some of you, it may have to do with work or working it doesn't matter it could be work or it could be a home situation something you're building on at home that has to be worked on you're you possibly are working on that something in your home it, and it's got to do with a secret as well wow somebody's holding secrets from you libra there's something going on in the uh, under the table okay can i say that there's something under the table is happening here there's something that needs to be unmasked and brought to the forefront so you can work on this situation and build or there's something that you're keeping to yourself okay that can be, bring some type of stagnation into what you're working on and what you're building on some venture so is some of y'all sneaking off somewhere or something libra y'all leave some leave me some notes down there so y'all know i read them the secret is somebody's you know somebody could be venturing off or going there's some type of secret journey or somebody Take a drink of water. Something's coming up here. You Libra, there's something sneaky or something going on. Uh, I'm going to try another deck.
the secret is a journey or going somewhere. Is there a secret affair at work? Something's up. For, uh, I'm sorry, Libra. It could be dealing with a Virgo. I don't know. But uh, sunny days don't look too great here. This is the sun card in reverse. It's the most vibrant energy ever. There's something that needs to, there is something that needs to be brought to the light or something's coming to the light here. Something that, something that's a secret it is because the sun in reverse is like revealing, upright is like, you know, something coming out, but it hasn't been exposed yet. Whatever it is, it's not exposed yet. Okay? <laughs> okay, with the anchor. Somebody's trying to hold on to something here. Like, the boat is sailed off, but somebody's trying to hold on to you, Libra. Or it could go the other way. Somebody's not letting something go. Even though the boat has sailed off, somebody else is sticking around. <laughs> somebody else done left a situation and somebody else is sticking around hanging on spirit can you give us some more what's up here There's some conflict, five of wands here. There's some conflict, Libra. What's going on here? There's some conflict going on. And I feel like you're you're working on it to try to find out what it is. It could be have something to do with what you build or what you already have established through your work, your hard work and energy. There's some type of secret that somebody, there could be somebody traveling or something like that for a secret. It could be a secret love affair. It could be something with family secrets that needs to come out with the sun in reverse. It's not bringing on any kind of happiness. Somebody's trying to hang on for dear life, but it's causing a lot of uh, uh, conflict to you, whatever's going on, or to somebody else. Wow, let's see. The Knight of Swords, somebody pulled their energy back. Somebody stopped or stopped moving. You know, this is about, you know, moving forward, you know, real fast. But in reverse, somebody kind of put a halt to a situation from moving. Somebody stopped moving forward in a situation. What is this happening? <laughs> okay, let's see what's up. Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. A Leo in particular, or somebody has it in their chart. This could be the secret person here, okay? This could be the, what the secret is, another person. Somebody may have put a stop to something about a secret um, because it was bringing on too much conflict or something here. Wow, this is going forward here. I'm trying to get energy from going forward. Let's see. Somebody, I feel like somebody's having a secret affair with somebody at their job. That's one thing I'm picking up clearly here. And then again, somebody just could be having a secret. Something is a secret that needs to come out here. Or it will come out. It hasn't yet, possibly. But somebody is causing a lot of conflict or inner conflict to someone here. Either you, Libra, or someone else. It's, it's, it's a conflict going on. And it's putting things to a halt here. All right? And it may be due to this person here. Something about love with somebody. Could be a secret admirer. Could be a secret lover. 
because we have two a knight we have three damn but there's strength coming in i feel like you're holding it together libra i feel like you're holding your temper or something you're holding something here with the strength card i feel like you're moving forward with strength and courage but i feel like they're um That you have to stay tamed at this time. You have to be tamed. You have to tame yourself. Because it's, there's some conflict here. And this queen or king of pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or some type of stability here. Something that's going to... I feel like you're... You're getting the courage enough to move towards something that is going to bring you uh, something solid. Especially when it comes to your coins. Some type of stability here. Some type, something solid. Something that's going to make practical sense to you. Something uh, practical that you're trying to either get somebody to see. Or you just going to leave it and, and, and have the practicality for yourself with this empress possibly some of you could be married to somebody or in a relationship with somebody or it could be a mother it could be a mother this is your card okay libra is the empress and taurus energy in there too i feel like somebody is stable and grounded here and, 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 and very creative and has a legacy here somebody has a legacy that somebody has to tame their self moving forward because of something that was hidden or some kind of secret. Libra, y'all getting... Y'all got me confused of what's going on here. Maybe y'all confused too because this is confusing. Somebody feel like they're walking on eggshells. with something or someone because they're trying to find out what the heck is going on. Should I use another deck on you guys? This is, this is. Let me use my deck I started out reading. Um, you know, when I first started back in... back when I used to read these, these are my favorite decks here to see what's going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Holy Spirit, what is this message? What is this secret? Somebody trying to confuse us here, Spirit what's up? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what is this message here? What is going on? This is a little confusing and I use more cards than I use in, in the other readings Y'all don't want to talk for some reason. This is the secret. They don't want to, some Libras don't want to talk. Do I have to just force it from you, Libra? What's what's up? Um, am I talking too much? What's up? cut the deck and then I'm just going to look at the bottom of the deck and see if that gives us an answer. Somebody's overburdened here. There's a, oh, Somebody is overburdened. This is just too much. The Ten of Wands. Somebody's got too much on their plate. Or somebody feels overburdened. It could be a, a, a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo with the five of uh, the Ten of Wands. It's like somebody needs to release a burden. It's just too heavy. Look, it's too heavy. You see those clouds up there? Look, it, it, somebody feel like something's closing in on them. Somebody could be paranoid, I'm hearing. There could be some paranoia regarding some situation here. And it's like, feel, somebody feel like it's, it's a lot of load. Okay. Yeah. 
the Knight of Swords is like somebody's. I can't, I, this person looked like they're walking on eggshells to me. It's like they, you know, they got their hand like, ooh, let me take my time. But the Knight of Swords is usually a swift person. But look at all that stuff going on in the background. The cloud of skies. You know, this person's all garbed up and everything. You know, like somebody's somebody here is taking precautions regarding something, or somebody's trying to rush in, like move fast. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra's energy. The four of rods, somebody coming, look like somebody trying to rush to somebody's home because the four of wands is about a home or rush to, into a marriage or something or something has to do with a marriage. Trying to rush in. Okay, Holy Spirit, can you just show me some more? Because Libra's being very secret. You Libra's being secretive? It looked like somebody may be rushing in to try to save their marriage or something. Almost like somebody got a wake up call here. Yeah, yeah. There was some conflict again. There's some conflict going on. That's the second time it showed up. Conflict. Somebody got icy cold on somebody, this king or queen of swords. Somebody's icy cold. Somebody got, got cold uh, with this conflict here, right? This conflict, this competition, this energy that somebody's in competition with somebody who's married or, or something here. Or other people or in somebody's business. Look at them doing the short, like, look. And there's other overlookers here, too. So it's involving other people outside of this what marriage or relationship whatever this thing is somebody's done got cold you know ready to cut something off here that's y'all energy this is y'all energy getting cold y'all got cold towards somebody libra is that a cord y'all ready to cut somebody off or cut somebody out you cold towards someone Libra. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups, because you just want peace. You want happiness. You want your joy. You want your st you want to be at peace. Because you're very abundant here, okay? Very abundant. The Ace of Cups is about self-love. It's about abundance. It's about you know having it all. Being peaceful. Over abundance. Somebody could be trying to cut somebody's abundance <laughs> y'all somebody could be like because of some type of competition or people other people on the outside fighting and carrying on over a marriage other people could be involved Where I pull, look, y'all Libras out there, if you can, you relate to this, you need, y'all get a reading or something, because this is, I don't know what the hell this is. I'm ready to give y'all some advice and move on, because this is something. It's got to do with this empress, some, again, someone who is a mother figure or has children, you may have children by this person, you may be pregnant, it may be about a pregnancy. This is y'all energy, Libra, Taurus. Came out twice. I'm speechless. <laughs> I'm trying to 
truly am speechless. If this, I want y'all to fill in the blanks because y'all holding back. Y'all holding back. Some reason. Look, there's like, yeah, you got to make up your mind what you want to do. Maybe this is just like confusion of what direction you want to take regarding a situation, whether it be home, family, friends. There's something going on here that needs to be rectified because this is like a, you know, which direction somebody's confused. Somebody needs to find their way. Somebody needs to find their way. Let me give you a... Let, I'm getting out of this because... <laughs> I ain't being that nosy today, okay? Okay. Let me give you all some advice. What's the advice you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Please, Spirit. What's the advice card you need to put out here? Maybe that'll make a big impact on you guys because y'all being quiet for some reason. There's something up. There's you strategizing something, trying to... Find out which direction you want to go here. There's too many directions. There's too many paths here. You, there's one you got to choose here. Gentleness. You got the gentleness card. Strength is... Oh, okay, strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action in, endures. Okay. So, strength is gentle. So, I feel like you have the strength here. That you will, you do. You have the patience. And you're very kind at this time. So, the kindness is bringing you your wings. Love and action endures. So, I feel like you need to take some action on this. On some situation here. You got to take action on it. I feel like some of you have been overly kind to someone or something like that and somebody tried to cut off or take control or cut off some situation of your blessing because this is all about blessings right here but then we got this person who was very cold and calculated here ready to cut that off for some reason they may have other people involved in this situation somebody may be pawning up against you Libra for some of you out there Leave your messages behind. Something that got to do with a home here. That's like putting a burden or stressing someone out. That may be the secret. Somebody's lit tight right now, but I feel like whatever this secret is, I feel like it's going to come out. That's what I feel like. But I feel like it's like, Somebody really trying to be slick or something like that. Somebody trying to be slick and sly. There's, yeah, I feel like it's going to be exposed because that light is creeping out, creeping out, creeping out. Whatever this secret is, it's going to come out, um... It just hasn't came out yet, but in the near future, Spirit is going to shine that light on this situation, whatever it may be, and somebody is going to be in uh, some hot water here. They're going to be able to make a clear, decisive decision on what they want to do. Right now, it's a little cloudy here. Somebody's somebody's playing a game, a good game at that too, but it's it's not going to not gonna pan out for somebody that's for sure libra there you go get yourself a, a reading here all right something ain't quite right here something ain't something ain't right okay libra there you go got me puzzled still because y'all want to keep quiet y'all trying to figure this stuff out y'all thinking a lot or something you want trying to figure this trying to figure out what this secret is somebody's holding a secret uh, let me get off of that moving on hello scorpio some of rising venus sign for scorpio let's see what's going on with y'all okay can we see what's going on with scorpio how y'all doing Welcome to my channel hit that like button y'all on the way out please Love you. Love you so much. Hit that like button. Share it if you like. If you know somebody else may be going through this, may need to hear this video. Okay? That's all I 
asking you guys? I ain't asking for nothing else. Nothing else, honey. <laughs> okay, something positive. Venus off of Scorpio. Let's see what's up. Okay, Scorpio. We got success. So you got a successful situation here. Coming up, I'm asking into the future. What do we kind of see people going at here after the Great Awakening? Okay, control. Knowing. Take action. So, let me see here. There's some, su some success on the table here waiting for you. There's success here, okay? And there's something about control. This could be a person that's trying to control a situation or you need to take control of this situation, okay? Because somebody knows something here, all right? Knowing. And, it, yeah, it needs to be some action that needs, something needs to move forward here, okay? Okay, what are the messages, Spirit, that you want me to give to some rising Venus sign of Scorpio? The scorpions moving into this energy moving forward okay something about a family something grounded some kind of stability here yeah this is success look at this this is i feel like a family uh, inheritance or something going on here with abundance and somebody having it all but there needs something needs to be cut away something has to be cut away this is take this the action you need to take something has to be cut away okay because tens is beginning is ending for new beginnings here okay this is the cycles of swift ending something swiftly needs to end here all right so you can go head on for you to your new beginning could be about a, a it could be about a guy or a, a guy or a lady or a man it doesn't matter because this is general who is being you know trying to be slick here you know somebody who's trying to be slick and sly with the fox okay and then the book is like some information you know this per this this slick sly fox here may have some information about you or something or you need to get some information about this fox somebody think they clever you know, it's somebody that you probably, you know, or somebody that's watching you from afar. You don't want to go near this. This is the bear. I ain't saying the bear bad with the sixes, you know, even number here, sixes. But you don't want to get too close to it. It's like deal with this person or this situation from afar because it looks like this person, this man or whatever is looking at afar and that, that bear looking at afar too. And this fox looking at afar too. Like there's some information here that you need to get. Does somebody think they clever. Somebody think they cunning. Somebody's manipulati manipulating something here. Okay, let's look a little deeper into this and see what's up. Okay, ancestors, Holy Spirit, can you give us some information regarding this situation? Okay. Y'all really want to talk. Scorpio, y'all are communicative. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all, some, some of you are very abundant at this time. Some of you have a lot. Some of y'all work hard for this. Like, there's some kind of slick stuff going on here. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see? Something solid and, and stable and, you know, your money's right, your pockets are right, but there's something here. You know, came up on uh, some great success here, uh, Scorpio. Some great success. Something. Some of y'all could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. got the five of cups so there's something okay so you got great success here but there's something that's like um got somebody uh in, in their emotions okay somebody's 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 crying over something that happened here i don't know some dogs outside fighting something sound like cats fighting i don't know what that is 
confirmation. <laughs> but anyway, somebody, um, you know, once you get over, or if this is you, this could be someone else too. But this is your energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you're crying over spilt milk over something, a loss here, something that you lost, something that failed, something that was very emotionally, emotionally touching. But and it could have been something where you walked away from a relationship you already had with those two of cups in the background that was good, that was stable, and you walked into something that, that wasn't, that was very disappointing here. And it put like some obstacles in the way. It stopped the situation. Put stuff on hold here. Cause some type of stagnation or delays. Something got you held up now. Somebody got you hanging. All right. Or this vice versa. Remember. And here's the king of pentacles. A stable person, a reliable person, someone who is very uh, has money, who's very stable, stable, practical, logical. This person is the one that can bring it to the table. Could be a Virgo. Hmm. But here's the devil here. Now, wait a minute. Did somebody come in between a relationship or, or, or something, however this may go to you guys? But somebody feels tied and bound, okay? Whatever, somebody has some addictions or some somebody's obsessed with some something or someone here. Somebody don't have somebody's good intentions here. This may be, this is what you need to cut out, I feel. The devil, of course, we want to cut that energy out. Whatever this obsession is, this... Because the devil energy which is the dark side only you know you're not really trapped here it's just you know somebody fearing something that keeps them entrapped or somebody that is obsessed with something is what keeps them in uh, entrapped on a low vibration here this is all self-willing this is willingly devil don't do make you do nothing is this they present it to you but you know it, it's your choice Okay, it's like somebody being in a cage, but the door is open so you can get out. Okay, the door is open at this cage. Somebody can get out if they want to, but this is a self, like somebody's so obsessed that they, they want to stay in that low vibrational energy. But you can get out if you want to. The devil just feeds off of your negativity, you know, off the actions that you, you know, especially if you accept it, whatever the devil had to offer. But they can't make you stay in that energy. You can get out of it. So, here's somebody who is male or female, okay? This is a fire sign energy. The devil is a Capricorn energy. All right, so... Somebody may be walking away from this situation, okay? Somebody may be walking away from that. It looks like it to me. Somebody's feeling more confident now, um, more powerful now. They feel like they can accomplish anything here. This is a go-getter right here. See all that yellow and stuff? Somebody's walking in there doing what they feel is best for them. And actually working on a situation, maybe collaborating with somebody here. That could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, some type of... Somebody wants to come towards someone that wants to build. Somebody had a rebirth with the death card. Or this was an ending. Somebody that ended something. It was very burdensome. It was too much. Somebody worked their magic, okay? With the magician. Somebody manifested something. And now they're trying to find their way. Or you trying to find your way. Trying to find your direction where you should go. Somebody's at a standstill. They got a choice to make which direction they want to go. Somebody's like real, like stressed out. Like on the outside, they're presenting themselves like they're okay. But on the inside, they're all messed up. They're all tied up in their mind, mentally. Somebody needs to take a new faith, a new, take a... Somebody's 
afraid of taking a leap of faith, but somebody is going to take a leap of faith. I feel like that's why this person is like a great, somebody, I'm hearing spirits say they're they pretending that they don't care that somebody is moving on. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody from their past. Okay, Scorpio, hit the comment section. Let me know what's going on here. <sighs> somebody may be somebody may be going back to somebody from their past here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Gemini. What else is before? Let me give y'all some advice here, okay? Hit the comment section. Let me know what's up, y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody got choices. Somebody got a choice to make. That was mixed in the knees, so I figured that, that that was a message that need to be told. Somebody got many choices or something here. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody got many choices here. Okay, faith. You got the faith card. <clears throat> Believe you are not alone. Spirit uh, is right beside you. Ask for it, guidance and it will come to you. Yeah. Ask your spirit guides. They, they wait for you to ask them what direction you should take. They, they, they'll answer it for you. Just go within, ask, and there's your solution coming up here. Okay, y'all. <clears throat> Let's see. We got three more, two more left. That was Scorpio, okay? Yeah. Yep. You, you, just think about what you're doing. Just think about it and pray. Ask for the Most High's help because they're there waiting for you to ask and they will lead you in that direction. Somebody may be trying to take hold of your control of your, or you need to control. Somebody here is slick. Something that you need to see and do take some action on, um, Scorpio. All right. Hope that helped. Okay, so Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces. Tommy sees how you doing. Let's see what's going on in your life. Pisces. Spirit, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as we're moving forward and all these transits and seasons um, and the age of Aquarius here? What's up? What are people stepping into? A lot of people, this is time for, this is decision time, like Last call for alcohol. You know what I'm saying? This is the season we're in. It's like time to make a choice which way you want to. Can't straddle the fence anymore. That's not going to work. Somebody, y'all choosing freedom. Somebody's choosing their freedom here. Some of you, Pisces, are choosing your freedom. Letting go. Coming out. I'm coming out. And build. Okay? You ready to build something new. As you set your free, as you're going free, yeah. See, launch. You ready to? Y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go, Pisces? Y'all probably been stagnant for a long time. Cause look at that cage. Y'all probably been in a cage where you know you could. I just said that earlier, where you could have been free all along, or you've been free all along, but you were staying stuck. But now you got your freedom with the launch. You are moving. You're mo really moving. You done got out of this cage or this self-made prison you was in, and you're ready to build. Let me get one more card. Yeah, you got ideas. Now, for some of you, this is about a job or some, you know, most of you, I feel like it's a relationship, something you've been holding on to for a long time. It's like you're done with this. It's like it's too much. It's been just making you dizzy. 
because you've been around this circle for too long. Some of you have got a bright idea about something that you want to build on, which is coming into the age of Aquarius moving forward. I feel like this for a lot of you Pisces, you're building something and you're getting ready to launch it out to the world, whatever it is, whatever this great idea is that you have. It's going to give you your freedom for some of you, whether it's relationship or work. You're building something here, Pisces. You're coming up with something, and you're, it's getting ready to launch. Keep on doing it, whatever it is that you're doing, okay? Because something getting ready to, yeah, take action on it. Okay, that fell out of this deck right here. So that's another message. Time for you to take action. Time for you to move on it, whatever this idea you have. Because I see it launching. It's going to launch. It's going to take off. So do it. Do it, Pisces. Do it. Do it, Pisces. Mm. But beware the snake. Beware of the snake. Okay? Beware. Beware of somebody trying to slide their way back in while you successfully moving on. Beware of that. Okay, because all they're trying to do is cause stagnation and build, you know, trying to stop you from moving forward, whether relationship, work, or some kind of project. Yeah, they're trying to cause blockages for you, Pisces. They're trying to stand in your way of your moving on, of your happiness and your joy. Yeah, they try to look. <laughs> they're trying to stop you from taking that leap of faith. Wow. One more for here. Okay. Yeah, as you're moving forward here, okay? You're taking this journey. You know, they try to stop you from taking this journey away from them. They know you're moving away from them. They know you mean it too. Wow. <laughs> They're going to try to stop you. Okay. What other messages we have moving forward for our Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign for Pisces? Got to get me some water, man. I feel like I've been... I got, cotton mouth or something. No, I ain't been smoking a damn thing. Whew. Make sure you hit the like button on the way out if you like. Make sure you hit your, you know, make some comments there so we can talk about what's up, y'all. What's the what's up? <laughs> um, and anything else, you know, it's up to you to do. If you like to share, subscribe, that's, that's up, totally up to you. you. Just keep being an onlooker. That's just fine. Okay, what other messages we got here? Let me do this here before I click it off. Two hours off, really? The star and the four of swords. Yeah, you guys are reaching, going to be a star or something? Or you're going to be a star? Or, you, you know, you, you're just having hope and faith in this. Whatever this is, you need to have hope and faith because I feel like it's going to make a lot of y'all stars. Whatever it is you're building, whatever idea you came up with, it's time to... It's time to move on it. But be careful of the snakes out there. Be careful who's trying to stop you from moving forward and taking this leap of faith. Be careful. Because, you know, all you got to do is pray on it with the four swords. You got an Aquarius here. You got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra here. Just rest. Take your time. Rest. Meditate. That's about meditation. It's about just chilling. <laughs> It's about wanting to have peace. Have peace of mind. Swords are about what's in your mind. So you want peace of mind. Spirit is saying you can have peace of mind as you move forward. You know, not even looking back like the chariot. Really? Oh, look, going towards the sun. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pisces going towards the sun. Moving on, leaving all this other stuff behind. Yes. Whoever this is trying to stop you and cause blockages, you're leaving all that behind. You're soaring forward. Like, you know what? See, you don't want to be you. Some of you are going to be taking a plane, a flight somewhere. Whoever this is is going to be very disappointed that you are moving forward. Look, 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 look. You're moving forward. Mm-hmm. You got peace. You want peace. You know what I'm saying? You want stability. You want peace in your life. You don't want this. You're moving away from somebody that was a soulmate or you felt it was a soulmate back there, the two cups. Or somebody is and they feel disappointed. Because they was they was living on the dark side. See the light in the dark there? The two cups is in the light. Somebody, you know, mm, 
chose to live the dark side and kept, you know, kept disappointing you or something like that. And they want to do, you know, emotional, messing with your emotions or something. Whew. Yeah, it got to be overbearing here with the Ten of Wands. Could have been dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, got overbearing here. It stunted your growth here. It stunted you from moving forward. It stunted, stunted you from creating balance and stability with inside yourself. Yeah, this was in, unbalanced here. The temperance could have been dealing with a Sagittarius. Mm-hmm. A lot of heartbreak here. All right. A lot of heartbreak. Somebody's like, you know what? This time, I just say, you know what? I just, I can't do it anymore. I'm just tired. You can look at them. Don't they look tired? They look tired. They got blood on their, uh, where their heart is. There's blood there. Somebody just got tired of being hurt. You know, this probably was going on for a long time because if you look in the path back there, there's a home back there. See that path? They, these two came a long way back and forth with the same old shit. Same day, different time. Ooh, I didn't think we was going to get into this energy. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, somebody was continuous, you know, and there's no justice here either. Somebody didn't feel like they was getting justice in a situation when it came to someone. Y'all applied to however. Somebody was being, making them very unstable, you know, their emotions was like out of whack with this person. And um, they felt like there was no justice, no cause. So that's why they're walking away. Yeah. And they're going towards new love here, the two of cups. Yeah, somebody's going towards the, their two of cups. They want to be happy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that's y'all. Y'all want to be happy. Look, there's some situation you guys were in. Again, it could be family, friends, however the situation fits. And I feel like you guys were on a mission to move forward. Some kind, You were on a mission to do something, like a great idea came to you or some, maybe you were enlightened about something too. And... Somebody was trying to stand in the way. There was a snake. They was being sneaky. Somebody was being very sneaky in this situation here. Causing delays and blockages and stuff with the mountains. Okay? But somebody moved on anyway. I believe it was y'all. And <laughs> I feel like you just took a leap, in the faith, a leap of faith into something new. And it disappointed somebody else. They thought they was going to get away with this stuff being a snake. They want to apologize, okay? Oh, that I think that's over. I think that's over. Somebody's like, you can apologize all you want. You know, maybe I'll take your apology. Maybe I won't. Or you don't apologize too much because, I, I, you know, I see what's in the future for me. And I'm waiting on that. I'm waiting on something else because I done thought about it over and over again. And my mind is made up. Yeah. <laughs> My mind is made up that I'm going to take this leap of faith, okay? I'm going into a new direction, a new world. That's what Pisces is saying. Now, let me give you, um, that was a big switch from what I, well, Spirit going to do what they wanted. That's, this, this is their show, not mine. This is Spirit show here. However they want me to do it, whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we got Quest. Be bold and mighty. Forces will aid you. Take action. Good luck favors you. Be brave. Strength card to me is strength. Take, you see, this is all about taking action. It's about going ahead and moving on because, you know, you got some stuff to do here. You know, you got some building. You got some something you want to launch here. Some kind of great idea here. You got you got your freedom now. You done set yourself free, okay? And you're coming up with all kind of ideas, okay? All kind of stuff. So whoever it is, the snake here trying to, you know, wither in and slither in, okay? You already got it. You already hit to it. Somebody always trying to cause, you know, problems and, and you know, put options opticals in way to stop you from moving on but you're moving on anyway okay you're moving on anyhow period i'm open for personals y'all if you want some a personal reading i'll do it for you okay i'll do it <laughs> okay congratulations to pisces that was a beautiful reading to me straightforward but i'm just curious about you libras y'all got me y'all some of y'all need to call or something now y'all Maybe I can help y'all out because y'all seem to be very secretive and don't want to say something about something. Trying to be your own investigator or something like that. Yeah, so everybody be help every once in a while. So we're going to do some little riding Venus on for Gemini and that's going to end the reading and then I'll be getting back into some other energy, whatever spirit want me to get into. Oh, you know 
we're going cards. Okay, Summer Rising. Okay, Spirit, what are the energies? What's going on now to going moving forward into like, you know, the future. Aquarius is about the future. So we get ready in the age of Aquarius. Okay, then we have Aquarius and Saturn in the in the picture. Okay, then we got the season for Aquarius as well. So, you know, right now, happy birthday is the season of Capricorn. Happy birthday, Capricorns. And upcoming is the Aquarius. So, happy birthday, Aquarius. Okay, what's up? What's up with uh, Gemini? Oh, Y'all don't want to speak? Oh, be, excuse me, Gemini. You want to speak? Okay. <laughs> Spirit, what's going on with Gemini's? What is the deal? Okay, finally. Dang, y'all make life tough, don't you? Unite, harmony, and goals. I mean, it looks like a good thing here, Gemini. What is y'all talking about? There's some type of reuniting or something, coming back together with somebody. Okay, and it's gonna, it seems like it's harmony, like y'all get along really well. It's a good, you know, couple here. And um, I feel like your goals, your dreams, your aspirations are coming true here on in. I feel like some of you may be doing some traveling. Maybe you got to travel to see this person or something. I see prosperity. Look, why do y'all want to say that? Oh, y'all trying. Oh, okay. Y'all being funny now. Like, let me let me mess with Simply Love here. Let me let me mess with her. Okay, I got y'all. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Okay, spirit. <laughs> Looking good, Gemini. Really. You, I feel like you're partnered up, partnered up with somebody. Y'all get along really well. I feel like it's your soulmate. There's a lot of prosperity here. I feel like y'all making plans together. I feel like there's travel involved. If it's at work, same thing. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's decisions to be made. Different paths here. But be careful of the fox, somebody who's slick and sly, okay? Somebody who's manipulative, okay? Yeah, there's the sick. Wow. We're going to see. We're going to dig in a little bit more. Somebody needs to use their intuition regarding somebody who is very slick, you know, very manipulative and very sly here, okay? I feel like that's a choice you have to make, Gemini's out there. There's some type of choice here that you have to cut out and leave alone. You have to end something for something new to begin because there's some secrets here regarding this uh, fox, I believe. There's something going on there. They may be trying to stop your prospect. Maybe may be stop, trying to stop you from being in a, a harmonious relationship here or something. We're getting a lot of that. There's a lot of endings for new beginnings as we move forward in the age of Aquarius. There's going to be a lot of that. Saturn is busting and cutting people out of people's lives that no longer serve them. And they're starting brand new beginnings with the 10. They're ending things, cutting things off that don't serve people and they're bringing on a new, you know? This is somebody new coming in, somebody that is, you know, <laughs> prosperous, somebody who's got their bag. You, is that a bag right there? She got her bag. Or he, could be a he too. Somebody got a bag here. Somebody is like well off and well to do. I feel like somebody's going to get a message from this person. Somebody's going to maybe the travel thing. You may hear from this person, but you got, there's something you got to cut out first, okay? You got to let Saturn cut that energy out of whoever this slick and sly person is that's trying to, you know, ease on down the freaking road here. Ease on down, ease on down the road. <laughs> Somebody could have been having you confused with manipulating you, and you couldn't hardly see your way because they be, you know, they're being slick. Uh, it's causing you to use your intuition with this moon card. It's something you got to cut off because somebody else wants to come in here. All right. They can, they want some communication. Somebody trying to communicate with you, but something got to be cut off or, you know, it's going to bring on some kind of stormy weather. Like something's going to just like give something. I'm hearing spirits say something got to give here. All right. In this situation. And I feel like it's an ending. Something got to end. Okay, let's get into it. Gemini.
Okay, spirit. I, I, I'm sorry, y'all. Was trying to focus in on any more information I'm getting from that storm card. Like, what the? Somebody might be tr planning to travel. Somebody may need to like delay the travels because of, of a storm or something that may be coming on. I'm here. That's what I was tr trying to get through. That what I just heard. Now it came through that somebody needs to be careful traveling. Because you may run into a storm. You might just want to delay it. See all these cards went everywhere. So yeah, it's the truth. It's the truth for somebody out there. De delay some traveling for uh, until this storm subsides is what I'm hearing. Like, Don't do nothing yet because of, until this storm subsides. You may have some problems if you try to rush something here. Oh, man, I don't know why I'm hearing a plane crash. Wow, where is that coming from? A plane crash? I'm going to keep going here. Maybe Spirit to tell me some more. So here we have the two of pentacles, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. It's like somebody... Somebody here, I feel like juggles, like they do several things or are very, very busy when it comes to work because pentacles are about money. So I feel like there's some type of, somebody may have more than one job. You know, somebody could be somebody that, you know, there's a performer here that performs for people. Yeah, this could be a performance or something. All right, so somebody's looking out in the horizon, the Three of Wands, okay? Fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So, yeah, I feel like somebody is waiting for their ships to come in here. Like, they know what they want. And they're, they're, they're just waiting for it to come in. All right. I'm going to put an end to this sneaky per Somebody who think this fox here that's coming up. Somebody who likes to, you know, start shit or whatever or think they slick or whatever. I feel like that's going to be the end. And that's going to put an ending to this slick person. Somebody may just go off and leave something. Somebody could be juggling another person here. And that may be the fox here that's holding up shit that has to get be cut off. All right, that's what I'm picking up. It'd be with someone else who's, you could be in, some of you could be already, Gemini, some of y'all could be in, a, uh, already found a new relationship, but somebody's trying to block it here. You have a choice to make between the two as well. And I feel like you're going to make the choice with the three of wands because that's making a choice. And I feel like you're going to let this fox, this sneaky person go. Because it is going to, you know, stop the sneakiness that's being caused on you. Okay, that's why it's in reverse. Look, devil, look, yeah. Somebody who's obsessed, obsessed with something or someone. Somebody got some obsessive energy. <laughs> some low vibration. <clears throat> king or queen, it's be king or queen of, cu of, of coins, of Virgo energy. Somebody's obsessed up probably over somebody's money because somebody feel like they can get away with something because somebody's working really hard here to balance something out or something. With, but somebody just keeps messing up. Here moving forward, Spirit, what, what do we have here moving forward as we're moving into these new energies, people cutting things out? Well, here we go. Happiness, okay, contentment, a wedding possibly for some of you. Moving to something more stable and balanced here with the king or queen of, 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 uh, of coins. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the nine of cups. Somebody wants happiness here. They want their happiness. And their happiness, I feel like, is with this king or queen of, of, of pentacles. But something needs to be cut out here. This devil energy. Because I feel like somebody's trying to hold on for dear life. And it could be due to finances. Mm-hmm. 
Queen of Cups is usually someone who is very intuitive, okay? She sees all, knows all, very sweet lady, you know, been probably run over top of a many a times. You know, very emotional, very caring, okay, is the Queen of Cups. But she looked like she'd been beat up here by life. Clothes all tore off, torn. But she, she, she's, she's using into her intuition or he. Anything else, spirit? Okay, yeah, somebody's taking a journey. Somebody moving on, man, with the Knight of Rods. Or somebody's real flighty here, like they in and out. Somebody's going to move really, really fast. Okay. Give me an outcome and then I'm going to give y'all your, um, what's the possible outcome of all this? Okay. <laughs> okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What they gonna do? What they gonna do? I feel like it's. I feel like y'all gonna make it. I feel like y'all gonna make it. I feel like y'all using your intuition and you're up out of here with this devil energy, <clears throat> this low vibrational energy. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. You've gained some knowledge, okay? You gained some knowledge. That's what I feel like. You're gonna gain knowledge in order to move forward about a snake. Okay, a snake in the grass, something, wow, <laughs> I feel like you're going to be very, very prosperous, okay, over this uh, snake devil energy, this low vibrational person, I feel like you're going to find true love, yep, that's the possible outcome for some of you, that's what I'm feeling, now, let me give you some Okay, Spirit, what's the advice you have for some of the Venus signs for Gemini? The Twitty Twin Twins. Hey! <laughs> and I'll let you guys go because this has been two hours. Wow. Spirit had a lot of messages. Y'all know I ain't on here all the time, especially the way I used to be because I'm, you know, trying to do other things. Okay, I have other things in the background that's going on that I have to do as well. So, you know, I ain't forgot about y'all. Just want to let you know that's what's up. Look, love, 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 love. Listen to your heart. Embrace what makes you happy. There are one million reasons to love. Wow, one million reasons to love. So, yeah, this is where y'all headed to love. Love of yourself, love of someone else, like real love, because you know why? It's your destiny, and it's something that you're going to be manifesting, okay? This is your manifestation, um, moving forward into this uh, new uh, world, this new thing here that we got going on, okay? Okay, so there you go. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the readings. I will be back. Um, to do the collective for some of you and stuff like that. Whatever spirit want me to do, that's what I'll do. Okay? You guys take care. Love you. Bye.